We're here at the Nixon Power Plant, where over a year ago we began the design of the sulfur dioxide scrubber. So the work on site here with the sulfur dioxide project will enable us to meet more stringent sulfur dioxide emission requirements for the Nixon Power Plant. This will enable continued operation of the Nixon Unit 1 boiler while maintaining compliance with federally mandated regulations for SO2 emissions. Earlier this year, construction began placing foundations for the scrubber. Just last week we began setting structural steel, which is the white structural components that are being erected in the background. The white structural steel foundation will house the scrubber, which will stand, when completed, roughly 100 feet into the air. Currently, the boiler flue gas travels through the boiler and into the bag house. Once the scrubber is completed, the flue gas will travel from the boiler through the scrubber into the bag house. So these pieces that they're unloading currently are the transition pieces where we'll remove some existing ductwork to make that connection into the sulfur dioxide scrubber. Workers right now you see in the background are installing the crane pad where they can mobilize the 400 ton crane. It's critical for the installation and the construction of the sulfur dioxide scrubber. They'll put well together the components here on site and they'll lift larger modules into place with the 400 ton crane. So as you can see there's significant progress being made in the construction and installation of the Nixon sulfur dioxide scrubber. This scrubber will be tied in through a spring outage in the spring of 2017 where it'll be mechanically connected between the boiler and the bag house. This is well on track with our completion of the sulfur dioxide project here at Nixon and well ahead of our compliance date at the in December of 2017.